A fleeing felon is now back behind bars this evening, but he told RTV6 that he ran because someone is out to kill him. Tommy Warren was serving time in connection with the quadruple Hovey Street murders. Derek Thomas joins us now with more. Derek. Erica Warren was on work release when he took off. His in-custody 10-year sentence would have been complete in August. Tommy, why'd you walk away from work release? You want to trust him, I was going to kill you. 30-year-old Tommy Warren was convicted of conspiracy to commit robbery in the 2008 Hovey Street case that ended with two young mothers and their children murdered inside their home. Prosecutors say Warren hatched the scheme for the robbery but was not there the night of the slaughter. Co-defendants Ronald Davis got 245 years in prison, Joseph Fraser got 70 years, Zeruman Coleman got 60 years, and Dante Hobson got 35 years. Warren was serving his work release at Volunteers of America and failed to return on March 7th. He told his mother that Hovey Street folks were after him. He came and told me, like, Mom, I'm going to leave that place because somebody trying to kill me. I said, no, go back and talk to the people. Tell them what's going on. Just don't leave because you're almost done with your sentence. So, so all I know, then he just, like, he left one morning going to work and some people was following him. Police finally found Warren Monday afternoon at a residence in the 800 block of North Riley Avenue. Mr. Warren uh, decided to hide in the attic of the residence. Um, they were able to make an apprehension without any further incident and, and take him back into custody. Police also arrested Warren's girlfriend, 26-year-old Ashley Brown, at that address for possession of marijuana. Prosecutors don't think Warren's fears for his life justify disappearing. Is that uh, just cause to walk away? Certainly not. And as again, uh, right now, we're still looking into what actually transpired and we'll be ready for the hearing at that time. Now, Warren's community correction violation hearing is set for March 25th. Prosecutors have not determined if they will file escape charges against him. Derek Thomas, RTV6.